I wanted to talk to Florida Congressman Matt Gates. He is demanding now that Sessions appoint a special counsel to investigate Uranium One and the Obama Clinton era scandals. Now, I think the Uranium One thing is a really big news story, but not for the same reason that I think a lot of people do. I'm interested in hearing the congressman's uh, point of view on what happened with Uranium One. Congressman, how are you, sir? I'm great. Thanks for having me on, Glenn. You bet. Can you tell me what are you looking into with Uranium One and what do you think the real scandal is here? We've got to find out if the Clinton Foundation was essentially used as a money laundering operation to sell off influence to the State Department. There are many different tentacles that branch out from that. One of those tentacles is the Uranium One deal, where you have all of these payments being made by Russians to Bill Clinton and the Clinton Foundation. At the same time, you have Hillary Clinton serving on the CFIUS board, raising no objections to this Uranium One problem. The reason why I think it necessitates a special counsel is that the very players, uh, Bob Mueller, Rod Rosenstein, the individual... Eric Holder. uh, Sure, Eric Holder. The very people who continue to have influence at the Justice Department and at the FBI very well may be fact witnesses in the Uranium One deal because they had an obligation to come out and show us this real pervasive Russian influence through bribery. You've pointed out, Glenn, on your, a variety of your platforms that the key to this entire deal is going to be the testimony of the informant who knew that the Russians were actually talking about bribing U.S. officials to influence our uranium assets. And so I don't think that the current kind of Jeff Sessions, Bob Mueller regime can look into that. I think that you've got to have a special counsel appointed. And if you don't do that, then you've really got an inequitable application of justice. You've got a special counsel looking into the president. And by the way, it's the very same guy who should have told us about Uranium One. So here's my concern, Matt, that this becomes focused around the Clintons, and the Clintons may indeed be guilty as hell on this. However, I think the bigger scandal is that the FBI had done a seven-year investigation. They had all of this information of corruption at the highest levels, and it was not brought to this committee. Nobody in the committee apparently was alerted A year before, this committee stopped China from buying a gold mine because they were afraid that that might somehow or another open the door for a country like China to have access to our uranium. Well, then what happened? And, And how come the committee wasn't informed on this FBI investigation of seven years? Well, and you know who that implicates, Glenn. It implicates Bob Mueller and James Comey. Yes, it does. The very people who've been going after the president. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons, frankly, that Bob Mueller has a conflict, because he should have been the one indicating that this was a problem. He should have brought it to the CFIUS board. And by the way, there are plenty of examples where the FBI brings information to the CFIUS board, which Secretary Clinton had a role in and served on. And they, in fact, uh, I mean, there was a case recently where a Japanese company was looking to buy some telecom assets in the United States, and the FBI was giving regular updates and information to CFIUS about that transaction, and that's with one of our greatest allies. Meanwhile, you've got the Russians engaged in bribery, making huge payments to the Clinton Foundation, and you don't have that same degree of transparency and sharing of information. And so, That's why I think it's absolutely essential for the Congress to be involved. I mean, a lot of people forget that Congress has an oversight responsibility. We are the people's check on the deep state. And right now, I fear that we need more members of Congress out calling for a special counsel, joining uh, Jim Jordan and Ron DeSantis. Actually, 20 members of the Judiciary Committee have been demanding a special counsel for three and a half months to look into these systemic failures, and we need Jeff Sessions to do his job. I am supportive of this if the goal is not to just get Clinton. If the goal is to look into what the hell happened with the FBI, because I think there are two bigger issues here, and that is Russia is influencing us, and we have evidence of it, a mountain, uh, seven years of evidence of it. And it is shocking 
why did the Obama administration gag the informant? Why and was you know he who signed the pleading? You, you know whose name is on the signature block for the pleadings before the courts sealing off the information of this informant. It's Rod Rosenstein. And so, I mean, when he was the U.S. attorney in Maryland, he was involved in the litigation to seal off information from this very informant. Again, the people at justice and at the FBI are witnesses and either through their acts or through their omissions may be implicated yes. in some wrongdoing. And so you're right. This can't solely be about bringing one person or one set of people to justice, though I do think that's important. We've got to look at what systemic failures brought us to this point. And moreover, is there an ongoing influence that's occurring, that's undermining our country, right. undermining our uranium assets that we may not know about until we do this investigation? That is the other thing. There's two things. The reason why we should have a special counsel. One, who, what politicians were involved, if any? What was the role of the FBI and why did it happen the way it did? It shouldn't have happened this way. There's too much evidence of corruption. And the second thing is to find out what's happening with Russia. They are clearly infiltrating both parties. They are clearly doing everything they can to weasel themselves into our system and nobody is, we're so busy fighting with each other, we're not noticing the real enemy is Russia. Well, you're right, and I would encourage uh, you, Glenn, and, and all of our listeners to check out the article that was published today in The Hill, where some of Christopher Ray's emails raise a lot of questions. Christopher Ray, of course, you know, deeply involved with the, with the FBI and with justice. His wife was a political candidate who was being financially supported by the Clintons. At the same time that was happening, we've now got emails where Christopher Ray is saying that the investigation of the Clinton email scandal wouldn't be handled through the normal procedures and the normal course of business. It was going to be handled at headquarters in a special way. Again, this reinforces what makes Americans so angry about the Clintons. There's one set of rules that governs all of us, and then there's sort of special treatment, special procedures that always seem to apply to the Clintons. So breaking news, you know, even today in the Hill on some of those emails showing us how deep some of these systemic failures may run. Matt, I appreciate your uh, work on this. I appreciate your calling into the program, and uh, we wish you luck. And I would stand with you for calling a special counsel as long as it is not a partisan thing. We look, I, I think people are sick of special deals being cut on either side of the aisle. People in Washington need to live by the law, period. No matter who you are, you live by the law, you die by the law. And I just want answers, and the American people want it, and they're tired of the politics around it. Absolutely, Glenn. Thanks so much. You can find him at uh, mattgates.com. Look for that story on the Hill and call Congress and ask them to appoint a special counsel to investigate Uranium One. But one of the things that I thought was really important, and you brought it up towards the end, is the defense from Hillary Clinton and, and her people is essentially like, well, we we couldn't have we, we weren't the only people on this panel. And, you know, we didn't uh, we didn't necessarily directly approve this. And I, I assigned that to someone else and I didn't have responsibility. And these payments came in at different times. And they have arguments for certain accusations made against Hillary Clinton, which is why it's so important that this not just becomes another Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. The thing that's really interesting to understand here with Uranium One is what Russia was trying to do. Why was Russia doing all of these things? Because even if you say. Hillary had nothing to do with this. Even if you say Hillary had no responsibility, which, I mean, when I look at it, it seems to be a stretch to get there. But even if you want to believe that and consider, consider her completely innocent, the Russians, again, were trying to interfere with a major national security issue and trying to manipulate our politicians, our systems, and did so successfully, whether you think they lucked into it or it was intentional and there was a quid pro quo, either way, you get to a place where Russia, again, throughout the Obama administration, and I believe through the now beginning with the Trump administration, is trying to continually affect what our general functions are here yeah. in the United States. The, the things that keep us safe and separate and a constitutional republic that we all want, 
Those things are constantly being interfered with by this one nation. And if we don't figure out what they're doing and get ahead of them, they are going to hit us even harder than these things.